The show for moms by by, by mom. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. Your Friday mornings are about to change as Magic 89.9 presents The Mother Show. Hosted by three of the most prominent moms on FM radio. Hi, I'm Ricky and I'm a proud mother of one. Hey, I'm Andy and I'm a proud mama of one. And I'm Del. Wait, 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 wait. Del as in Delamar? Yeah, Ricky, it's Delamar. Yep, and I'm also a proud mother of three. Join us every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. On the show that's for moms and for those who love moms. And it's by moms too. So join the mommies of magic every Friday at 10 a.m. The Mother Show, Fridays at 10 a.m. From the station that gives you the most complete mothering experience. Magic 89.9. The Mother Show is brought to you by Elica. Itchy rashes? It might be your eczema. Ask your doctor. Ask about Elica. It is 10.05 on a Friday morning. Welcome to The Mother Show. What's up, everybody? Hey there. Hey, uh, my name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. Hey, it's been a week, guys. Yes. It's Friday yet again. It is another Friday. It's time. It's another time to get together and talk. I know, and right? release some uh, whatever <laughs> we need to release. Pent up. Mommy, uh, mommy uh, issues. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mommy rants. I don't yeah. know. We'll call them mommy rages later on. But <laughs> it's 10.05. Once again, welcome to the show. The show is brought to you by Elica. Itchy rashes. It might be eczema. Ask your doctor. Ask about Elica. Reminding you that there are several ways um, to get in touch with us. You can do so uh, via the phone lines at 631-0899. Yep. Or you can check us out online. It's www.magic899.fm. Or you can tweet us at mothershow899. Okay, so just to let you know what we're going to be um, starting off with today. <laughs> we, Go, left, we left everybody with a, uh, a poll, poll question. question. We thought it would be a good idea to I get know. to know your opinions and stuff. <laughs> so uh, we dished out a question via Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I think we should retweet it. Yeah, we should yeah, uh, put right it back up. Again. So if you want to so be updated. Yeah. Yeah. What, we're, what we're going to be talking about. It's okay. at Mothershow899. So we asked the question, do you give the household <laughs> staff in your house the password to the Wi-Fi. Right. So we put there two choices. It is yes or no. And we asked people to vote. It was crazy. It was pretty yeah. crazy. You know, for a very well-meaning, very logical, very practical question. Yes. A lot people of people. People got mad, yeah. They, they, I, for me, it's an overreaction. It is an and overreaction. I, you could really tell, like, we they were just talking about this. don't listen to the yeah. show. Yeah. Exactly. Or, or maybe you do listen to the show, but you took the question very, uh, very differently than it was intended. Anyway, there's a lot of reaction. Yeah, there are a lot and of reactions. And the biggest ones are from Ricky. The biggest <laughs> ones are from me. And that's Go, Ricky! Oh my goodness. That's because it was our full first poll question, yeah, guys. Yeah, I know. I mean, come on. And that was my question. She's on defense now. Come on. She had to defend herself. Oh, you have no yeah. idea how red I became. <laughs> oh, I, I, could, I could feel it on Viber. I, I really could feel it. I was like, oh, I was like oh, no, you didn't. Now, now I was trying to get like, is it weird that I'm feeling this way? Yeah. Or and, it, right? And Ricky even actually asked like, why? Well, is it is so this, bad? Yeah. For it was me, just it, a question. It was just a question. What? Okay, you know, I'm going to take a break. I might yeah. say something we don't and like. Okay, <laughs> but here's the cliffhanger. Yeah. We are going to tell you the kinds of reactions that we had. Yeah. And Ricky's reaction to those reactions. And? And finally, if we agree <laughs> the or if we don't agree with <laughs> the and, question. And see which side won. Because really, yeah. it's a yeah. poll. So it's there has to be a, a poll. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, it's a poll. So we're going to get back with that. <laughs> Wait, Get ready. So <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Like the f- first five <laughs> minutes of the show. Wow. <laughs> 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 so mga, if you're stuck in traffic, nadamayan ko kayo in a bit. Uh-uh, <laughs> yeah. Nadamayan ko kayo. It's 10.08. We'll be back after this. It's the Mother Show on Magic 89.9. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Moms, I'd like to follow the Mother Show on Magic 89.9. The show for moms by, by, by mom. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. 10.21 in the morning. Once again, welcome back to the Mother Show. That was a three-song beauty wow. that we put in for you Rarely guys. Rarely happens here in the show. They're loving it. Right? Mm-hmm. Even my sister said, I like you the music. See? Exactly. I'm saying hi to Sophia, my mom, Rose, and Isabella. 
Hi. Cool moms. Hello. See, cool radio moms. <laughs> Hello. You get good quality music. If you just tune in, though, welcome to The Mother Show. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. And you guys can get in touch with us. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your voices, what you mm-hmm. did over the past week. It's 6310899. Or listen to us online. It's www.magic899.fm. And because this is a very interactive show, you can tweet <laughs> us at Mother Show 899 As a matter of fact, Jedi Master is tuned in. KM Squirrel Hello. is also tuned in. Loving the songs, like we said. And uh, Ken Karatz is also tuned in. And Dignares. I hope I'm saying that right. Dignares. Hi, good morning. That's a nice name, huh? Dignares. Like Dignares. Sorry. We're so weird. I just realized we're so weird. We're not. We're hip and happening moms. Yeah. Yes, we're yeah. happening. Hip and happening moms. But yeah, um, we want to we wanna know who else is listening. You can also listen online. Again, we are HD. Yeah, no. um, Facebook. I know if you listen, uh, if you go to the Magic Facebook, you yeah. can listen to us live there and you yeah. can chat also. Yes, okay. you can chat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we have to figure out where it where, doesn't yeah. obstruct. No, actually, I, I want my is. face to get Hi. up. Hi! <laughs> there! Yeah, that, there that, that's are. perfect. There you are, Del. Hey, it's 1022. We hate to be naggers on the show, but <laughs> if you listen to us for, the, what, what is this, episode 9? Is it nine? Have already? you lost track? I have lost track. I, have lost I track think this is nine. nine. I think this is. I'm gonna nine. say. I'm gonna say it's episode nine. Hold I'm on. A, I'm with Ricky on this one because the last ten. time we told <laughs> you, was wrong. no, it's ten. Yeah. Alvin says nine. 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 Ten. I was correct. Nine. Okay. By the way, how many episodes do we have? We have thirteen. Oh no, 13. we're close to the end. Lucky number thirteen. And now the end, end is near. Yeah. And so we face the final curtain. Sorry. <laughs> oh, can I just say it's so it, was sep- the it was September 21 yesterday, right? Yeah. It was so perfect. Yes. Do you remember the 20? 20 okay, 21st night, <laughs> September. I was like, okay, where is she going I'm with so this? I'm sorry. Again, never mind. I was such a corny joke. No, it was but meant you know, we to don't celebrate yesterday. that joke a lot. The bow we don't. It's so it's, it's such an always underrated joke. the May fourth, or it's gonna be May. Or wake me up when September ends. Yeah, but, but also uh, because I think it's an old song. Well, the trolls brought it up again, right? Yeah. See, it so did. it's the still meme hip. Makers. Yeah. Right. Meme makers. Okay, wait. It's 1023. About these naggers. You were saying <laughs> naggers, and you you know you hear it all the time from us here on the Mother Show, and we talk about um, this thing that we like to call eczema or eczema. Mm-hmm. And th- the thing is, people get scared when they talk about eczema, so let's just address that okay. head on. Um, we're gonna. There's a lot of misunderstanding and myths about it. There is. And one of the objectives of talking about it courtesy of Elika is to dispel those myths so mm-hmm. that people become more aware mm-hmm. yeah because there's a stigma yeah na it's nakakahawa yes. that you get it because you're, um, Madume, not, you're yeah. not hygienic right. diba, and all that yeah. but really it's it's asthma of the skin yeah, yeah. it's a reaction of the skin to elements yes, yes it mm-hmm. could be um, like the pollen it could yes. be sweat mm-hmm. it could be dirt it could be the heat yeah mm-hmm. it could be the heat and the reason why I say or I apologize for the nagging and also don't at the same time is because every single Friday that we talk about this there's always a new person who tweets us and who says that hey you know what I just tried Elika and it works really great yes. and I have eczema it's eczema pala I consulted my doctor so it's nice to bring awareness every Friday because right. you don't know right. who is listening who mm-hmm. might have it who doesn't know and the thing the is nobody are. really talks about it exactly. but sometimes you keep it to yourself because but it's nice to be able to relate to other people who also have it that's right like and me. then you don't <laughs> like me yeah, the back. yeah a lot of people who have it they cover up yes with long sleeves but they don't wear shorts yeah. you know and then yeah. but you know there is uh, there's an emotional toll to eczema yes and that's really because you are you know you're kind of embarrassed mm-hmm. if you have a flare-up you're you're scared to show people mm-hmm. because of the misunderstanding and now we're telling you that again it's a it's a reaction of the body to something that it's allergic to yes and so there is no curing it but there's a managing it there is a yeah. managing it and that's why again the nagging we have the <laughs> eczema check okay yes we do so first we have to know that it really is eczema mm-hmm. okay so for this we have a four point question four points Yes, so first question, is it itchy and is it red? Is it itchy and red? Number two, Mm -hmm. is it recurrent, meaning (laughs) it goes away and then comes back? (laughs) Number three, is it located on like skin folds or creases like in your arms and your neck? (gasps) And does your child have a personal or family history of atopic dermatitis, asthma, or allergic rhinitis? Now, if you answered yes to all four questions, your child might have eczema. Yep. 
And it's nice to know that, you know, once you know that this is eczema, that it's manageable. So you don't mm-hmm. have to really mm-hmm. stress out and figure or go to Google and check right. what it is online. As long as you know it's eczema and it's treatable and there's a solution to this. And That's right. We, we gave you the four-point check, yeah. but you have to go to a doctor exactly. so that the doctor can give you, like, the verdict. Like, yes. it really is. So this is what you do if you have eczema. That's right. And the doctor will see, like, he'll investigate mm-hmm. where 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 exactly the, the red patches are. And if it is eczema, like you said, Del, Guess what? You can ask about Elica. Elica effectively relieves eczema itchiness as described by Andy because she uses it. Redness and swelling with visible results within 24 hours. And if you want to know more, you may also visit Elica's Facebook page. Check it out. Facebook.com slash PH if you want to know more. Um, uh, let's see. Itchy rashes? It might be eczema. Ask your doctor. Ask about Elica. Elica is available in Mercury Drug and other leading drugstores nationwide. Mometasone Furoate is the generic name of Elica. If symptoms persist, consult your doctor. It's 1027 on the clock. Back with more of the show right after this. The show for moms. Bye bye mom. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. Radio Super Moms, The Mother Show, Magic 89.9. 
Um, it's 1031. Welcome back to the show. I am Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. And we're here to nag you all the way till 12. Oh, yes. Uh, in a good way, though. In a really, really yeah. good way. Hey, really quickly, I want to say hi my and good morning <laughs> to Martha. My mind doesn't stay up. Martha, you know what? If Susie was here, she would tell you to... To stroke it, yeah. To stroke okay, it I'll, so I'll stroke it. it. <laughs> I, I'm good. I, I'm good at that. So you can, can you, oh my gosh! I am. I really am. It's been 20 years that I've been stroking just up the and down. Microphone, yeah. yeah. Right, fix, it. fix it. Hey, fix it. Fix your just, mic. You've been doing it for a while. What do you mean? Oh. Like stroke, stroke microphones. And and the more oh, you do it on magic. Oh. Yeah. No, I mean, right? <laughs> I've I've been doing it for just five years. I doubt okay. it. You you've had practice way before the five years. I probably have. Hi, by the way, to my mom and my dad. <laughs> oh, this hi, Memphis. It's ten thirty two. Again, Martha, who wants to say hi to her friends Mika and Ethel, who always listen to the Hello. mother show. Thank you very much for uh, always listening. We Hello. are reading your tweets. Hi, Pop Boy. Hi, Pop Boy. We have a word of a day. That's right. Okay. He is challenging us to use nakapagpapagabag as word of the day. Mm-hmm. Maybe Hello. later on. Oh wait, lang. I'm so excited for this um, poll question that we threw out <laughs> last Friday. Okay. And uh, okay, so the question is. Hold on, hold on. You should do it, Ricky. This is your question. What is the poll question? Do you give your household staff the password to your Wi-Fi at home? Okay. That was the poll question. And we felt really good about that because that was the first poll question of the entire show. Mm-hmm. So we appreciate the responses. How many responses? Um, are there? Uh, we got a, we got quite a lot. Um, but a first lot. was uh, Louis Razon who mm-hmm. said, "If you trust them with your kids and the rest of the household, then why not the Wi-Fi password?" Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Are we answering that question? No, right? We're just going through That's the okay, responses yeah. first. Okay. Um, uh, some other people chimed in as well. Said that uh, they didn't give the password because when the first time they did that, they shared the password with other people from mm. other houses. Oh. So yung kapit bahay daw nila na nakiki wifi na den. Nakiki wifi na den. Right. Um, more answers. Um, Chris Hope says yes. <laughs> Our helpers are students from uh, PUP Open U, so they need the net to do their homework and projects. Um, another one says, uh, no, because one Yaya shared the password to our guard there next you door. Go. Yeah. Uh-uh. Um, somebody says, I do. Ha ha. And we appreciate that reply because it's a reply <laughs> and you know, yeah. uh, it's a vote yes or no. Somebody it's said not- also, Kenkarot said, we made a mistake of giving the help our Wi-Fi password once and she never worked after that. Puro FB and selfie na lang ang ginagawa niya. Which is uh, the, at the very heart of the question. Yeah. Okay. Um, Maya Maya 101 says, yes, of course, I get in touch with my household help through social media mm-hmm. all the time. They all get in touch with their families via internet as well. So not just her through the and the, the household help, but the help with their respective families. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Um, um, I, I also got a reply saying that, yes, because the household help is the only one who remembers the password. So everybody yeah. has to go through her <laughs> if people forget. That's hilarious. She's like the, uh, the Wi-Fi nice. police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like Mandirigma said, no, because it distracts them from their purpose of landing, uh, the responsibility. They lose focus along with our trust. We drive verbal convo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Um, Anne goes blessed to have the same ate for 10 years now. She knows her place and doesn't use work time for Facebook. She usually uses her own 3G load. And then uh, Choi says, yes, but because we provide their phones, we get them one that doesn't have a use for Wi-Fi. Emergency calls only. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll venture in. Ah. Okay. Are we Should venturing? I? I think we should because okay. I think... Um, Okay, there's one. I won't. I just won't say the name mm-hmm. because it's. Uh, we don't want to encourage bullying. No. Nope. And definitely, people might use this as a way to bully others. But yes. anyway, so one reply to that question was, "How burgis naman your concerns? How about do you give your mates thirteenth month pay, fill health, and SSS? Mm-hmm. Those are not in the same. Those are not the same. No." Your Wi-Fi and their rights as workers, Mm -hmm. it's not the same. Um, So here's what I know this question comes from. And as also voiced out by a lot of people who answered it. That Amina Nat and even us, Mm -hmm. like if you want to go on Twitter, on Facebook, or on your Instagram account, 
the time just passes so quickly. Yes, it does. And so it's a real concern, <clears throat> not just of yayas, but all workers, that the internet and social media can lower productivity. Mm-hmm. And that is the only thing that's really being talked about. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can talk about security, but that's subjective because some helpers are trustworthy, mm-hmm. some yeah. you don't know yet. But let's leave that out of it. Yeah. At the heart of this question is really productivity. Yeah. You know how kids are. They're malikot. They they will do anything. And just don't look at them for five minutes. And something bad could happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why the question was asked. Mm-hmm. Because when you're Yaya or even you as a mother, sometimes you're just answering an email or applying to your friend yeah. on Messenger. And then something happens to your child. So... It's really a question of can you focus on the child? And then after yes. the work, I'm sure each and every household has a time when, okay, yeah, yeah, tapos na yung trabaho mo. Yeah. Let me. Mag-wi-fi ka na. I'll take over. <laughs> then, oh, yeah. then, then this is your time. Like in our house, as soon as dinner is done and the milk is brought to the to the bedroom for Parker, they, they can do whatever they want. There's no mm. more utos, there's nothing. Yeah. And that's usually at 8 30 in the evening. Yeah. So from 8 30 in the evening, they have their mm. me time. They need that. Mm-hmm. But from 6 o'clock in the morning until 8.30 at night, I want them to be present. Yeah. And so because we're talking about children. Mm -hmm. And that's the only reason this question was talked about. Yeah. Productivity. It's not about thinking that, you know, uh, (laughs) pagmamalupet. That's not it. That's not it. It's a productivity question. As a matter of fact, even BPOs, they have floors where cell phones are not allowed mm-hmm. precisely for this reason. Yeah. Those workers are given Phil Health, SSS. But productivity, question of productivity mm-hmm. and the internet, those are real major concerns of offices. Yeah. How much more in your home where you're taking care of children mm-hmm. who are so unpredictable, yeah. who will do anything that they want, mm-hmm. regardless if it's, it will harm them, mm-hmm. jump jump five steps up the, the, the staircase or yeah. go down the banister. <laughs> you know those things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the only intention of the question. Yep. And some people have used it to 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 peddle your hate. Mm-hmm. Please sell it somewhere else. Sell it somewhere okay? else. Because we are we mothers. We've been there. <laughs> we know what this teenage yeah. angst is all about and whatever whatever issue you think you can speak of online. But again, you know, we threw it out there for for the listeners and we you know we had a good discussion before we threw that out. So that question had a had and, a context. And can we just call out to people that this is an opportunity to talk. Yeah. But as soon as discussion. you attack mm-hmm. someone, the discussion goes out the window. Yeah. We cannot yeah. talk about security. Yeah. We cannot talk about productivity because you already attacked the people. Yeah. So can we just leave oh, that weird. out of it and then just just remain objective and say if you're saying, "Oh, I think there's no, no problem." I mean, your your helpers certainly need the internet to do whatever. They, you can say that and leave out the attack. You can make your point without being angry or or inciting hate. Mm-hmm. So if we can just encourage everybody, there's so much more hate in the world. <clears throat> Maybe for just the poll question on the mother show, let's leave that out of it. Saying out of Raymond, who says they're discussing this now on air and they completely miss the point. Can you call us up? Because I really want to. I, I really f- want to find out. You know what is exactly so so um, so cruel. About the question that we posed. <laughs> no, I really want to understand. <laughs> so call us up, Raymond. Again, 631-0899. And while we're waiting for Raymond yeah. to call, I just want you to know and just acknowledge just for one minute that Ricky is really sincere in asking why you are so enraged. No, I really am. No, like, I really want to know. But if I were if I were the one who's enraged by yeah. this question. I would acknowledge that human, human humanity in you that you you're not angry. You actually want to know. No, maybe I'm missing something. Yeah. Please explain it to me. If we can just have that kind of spirit talking mm-hmm. to each other, maybe we can listen to each other more. Yeah. So Raymond, the hotline is open. Yeah. Please call us up. And if you have an op- opposing opinion about it, let's talk about it. And mm. that's why it's a yes or a no. Yeah. You will have as many people saying yes and as many <coughs> people saying no. Mm-hmm. The question really is. Uh, a yes or no, but th- what makes it different for us is the why. <laughs> why are you smiling? At me? Nothing, because I feel I I know like the mommy in Delamar is like it's on. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? No, because she like, just wants to set things straight. That's yeah. Kind of, yeah. Oh. I know. No, no, because like I know you're defending Ricky, and it just shows how passionate you are. Because it feels like I don't know. It feels like Ricky's your kid. You know what I mean. <laughs> 
Ay, oh, here. Are here. You, are you ready? ready? Raymond, hello? Uh, hey, guys. Good are morning. You, is this Raymond? This is not Raymond. No. Okay, Charlie. hi. Hi, Charlie hi, May. What's up? Hey, What's Charlie. Up? Hi, what? guys. Uh, I just wanted to, ano po, uh, share something. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. We are working in a hospital and then we are setting up the IT system in our That's hospital. That's right! Uh, the head IT guy said that what we are planning to do is parang to, ano, not to interfere with the productivity of the em- employees, especially as nurses. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are planning to limit uh, the Wi-Fi access only for one hour. So, they are being generous in giving Wi-Fi access, but only for a limited amount of time. So, I think in households, uh, it, it would be parang you can apply this as well. I don't know how we can do it in our own homes, mm-hmm. but I guess that would be an effective way to I know, to provide Wi-Fi access to our households. And I'm, yeah. I'm glad that you brought it up because like we said, it's not just in our homes. It's not about being a snob. The question of how social media and being on the internet affecting productivity yes. is across the board. Yeah, yes. You can apply it in BPOs and hospitals, in schools even. You mean, have you ever talked to a teacher who said, you know, in schools, cell phones are banned? Because yeah. the minute you give students a cell phone in their class, in the classroom, that's it. Man. That's it. So that is the that is at the heart of the question. Yeah. And then uh, thank you. So so you're part of the IT? No, uh, I'm a nurse. Oh, yeah. you're a nurse. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. a nurse. Are you a pediatric nurse or or no? Uh, I'm I'm working at General Ward. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I see. I, can I ano, can I uh, make a trivia before ano? Okay, go ahead. Before you. Hang up on me. Uh, <laughs> no, we won't. No, we'll we'll say goodbye. We'll say goodbye, okay. say no? <laughs> we'll say goodbye yes, to you, uh, Naman. Okay, go. Today is September 22, and I just found out that uh, 23 years ago today, uh, uh, NBC aired Friends. So I know. Oh, you know, oh, hey. You girls remind me of Monica, Rachel, and Pete. Oh, okay, who's okay, 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 okay. I want to know. This is who is <laughs> more to me. Oh my gosh, I need who? to know. Okay, uh, go. So, can I guess? Yes. Okay. I think you think Andy is Rachel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. You think I'm Monica? No. I what? I'm you're Phoebe. Because you're quirky and kinky. Del, <laughs> <laughs> are you? It's more of that. Are you Bendy? Ay, are you Bendy? <laughs> oh, she strokes the mic. <laughs> I, I, I do. Yes, yeah, see. I do. told you. Oh my gosh, that's like that's so surprising. <laughs> I'm Phoebe. I wanted Phoebe. <laughs> Me too. I feel like you're Monica. That's I think I, she's Monica. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do too. But I love that I'm Phoebe to yeah. you. <laughs> I think because Ricky has a very uh, female independent energy. Okay. So that's why I uh, I, I envision I envision her quite as Monica. Yeah. She is than... independent. I know. <laughs> independent. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie Mae. Thanks for calling. Thanks for making our day. Bye. Magic, hello? 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 Raymond. No. Popoy. (laughs) What's up, Popoy? I keep hoping Raymond is calling. Ricky's ready for war. (laughs) No, I'm not. I really want to know. There's no hate in my... I I swear, there's no hate in my system. I can see that. I really just want to know. Taking off from the last caller, just for everyone to know, yes, you can set... Um, data cap. Yeah, I just saw your tweet. I just caps. saw your tweet. Okay. Oh, uh, you can set data caps or time caps or uh, time limitations within the basic household router. How do you do that? That's what um, I wanted to know. Yeah. You, you have to consult yeah. Popoy on your own yeah. time. Okay. <laughs> and Sorry, Popoy will, will no, charge no, you. I, yeah. You can you can call your service provider. Okay. Um, just call up their help desk. Or it depends uh, on the router. Your okay. service provider would know how to okay. work here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Thank so, you for that. So, Dilinga. napakadali lang nun. Kasi yun yung ginawa ko nung unang-unang may yaya pa kami. Mm-hmm. Tapos, simula nun, kahit na nilagyan ko ng ganun, wala pa rin siyang ginagawa. Hindi na kami nag for the longest. <laughs> mm. Was it really something that affected her work? Yes, of course. How, to to what extent? Mamat- Munti kang mamatay yung aso namin kasi wala siyang ginagawa sa bahay. What do you umuwi mean? Ako, umuwi akong nangingisay na yung aso namin. What? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ganun katindi. So, sabi ko, wag na, ayoko na. Wag na tayong kumuha ng kahit anong help. We can do it on our own. Have you ever tried, instead of getting, uh, firing the yaya, 
What if we don't get internet? Ay, parang hindi pwede, no? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> Sige, sige. Show it po yan. Then, show it po. Look, look yeah. forward. <laughs> Hello, what do you say? Oh, this is a stupid question. Um, let me backtrack and let's just pretend the last minute didn't happen. Please erase it. No, Please. but yeah. See, these are, these, are, these are experiences that happen to people and that's what makes them decide not to to divulge so, and so again we go back that's yeah. why it's a good question it, it was, mm-hmm. right I feel it's like a good it was question. such a good question no I really I, yeah kung sino man ang may ayaw sa tanong na yun hindi ko maarok kung anong iniisip niya Al- nakapagpabagabag hindi ba nakapagpabagabag talaga nagukulumihanan yung kalooban ko yan gusto mo sa'yo Popoy but you know what Popoy it's 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 nice that I I just really I hope that people acknowledge that Ricky really wants to know. I want to know. She really wants to know. And if she's asking um, George, oh, Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. <laughs> yeah, uh, to call, it's really with the intention of understanding yeah. Hello, something for, that for the for the longest time na nakikinig ako kay Ricky. Uh, when she does ask questions like this, you can really hear yes. from her voice, her testimony. Her yes, yes. oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, and, and, that's and, why that's why I love listening to the three of them every afternoon. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Blue boy. You make me cry. <laughs> Do you Mother cry boy, easily? Cry. Do you cry easily? Tapos si record ko sa ano sa stream. Gag. Tik na magmura pa poy. Thank you. <laughs> Almost. Thank you, Almost. Popoy, for calling. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. It's, a He's such an interesting caller. No, he calls really us almost is. like every week. I love that he's love so it. smart. Yeah, about a lot of he's things. very smart. Magic, hello. Hello. Raymond, is that you? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's Hi, up? This? I am a girl. <laughs> um, about the topic. Yeah. W- sorry. What's your name? Oh, uh, Jessica. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Um, about the topic, I just want to share. Mm-hmm. Um, my husband. Uh, we have an extra phone and. We just we have an extra phone and then she, we, uh, he just uh, uh, lent it to our helper so we can monitor our baby because he's five months or six months old and then tagalog ko na lang po okay yes of course go so napansin niya parang two days parang na, nakita niya sa, kasi may CCTV po kami so we can see the baby ko anong ginagawa so napansin niya parang lagi like, nagsa cellphone Mm-mm. it's our phone po ah, parang hiniram namin para lang para to update sa Viber na oh, anong ginagawa ka mo sa na si baby yeah. ganyan uh-huh, tapos right. napansin niya na ginagamit so ang ginawa niya the next day kasi IT siya so tinignan niya yung mga history ginawa niya blinak niya yung Facebook ang iniwan na lang niya yung Viber mm-hmm. so gano'n na lang ginawa niya para para hindi maubos yung oras ng yaya sa kaka. Okay, Th- that was my next question, Jessica. If your husband had done that, bakit? So, kasi nga, nawawal, nauubos yung oras, oras. na kaka oh, online. Hindi nga po, eh, kaso wala kasi kaming way to check or monitor. Oh, oh. Kasi layo oh, oh, naman right. sila kami, tapos nasa Bulacan. So, oh, oh. pag tumawag, mahal. <laughs> May tanong ako, Jessica, are you offended by the question? Sa, ay, hindi, yung ngayon po? Oo, yung question sa poll. Do you think there's anything wrong with this question? None po. Oo, kasi may experience kayo, no? Na yun ang, at the heart of it, yun eh. Di ba? Opo. Parang, parang si Popoy din. <laughs> Opo. Yeah, there are experiences that lead to... To a decision. Yeah. Yes. Uh-oh. And the reason why I ask this also is because a lot of parents have that same question yes. and they want to know tips yes. you know, yes. on how to yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. In so, no way was I belittling anyone because no. if you know me, that's the last thing that let, I'm let all about. Let me just tell you. Uh, thank you, Jessica. Sorry. Thanks, thank Jessica. you. Oh, okay, thank bye-bye. you so much. Can, can mm-hmm. I just... I, I was having this very exact same question last night with my husband and we were thinking... The truth of the matter is, it can be anything, any topic, religion, yeah. meditation, breastfeeding, uh, safety, topic. it can be any topic and people, no matter how good it is, they will attach hate yeah. and they will use it, you know, to feel better about themselves because, I'm, I'll, be, I'll call it out, huh? those people who were mean to you was really feeling better about themselves because what's not being said is, You're a snob, ako hindi. At nakita ko na yung question mo, snob. 
Yeah. That's that's what they go get away with. That they feel mm-hmm. so much better. That they're such better people yeah. than the people who posted the question. Mm-hmm. Now I don't want to be. I know. I, I just want us to put things in yeah. perspective yeah. so we understand where the hate is coming from. Mm-hmm. And can we talk without the hate? <laughs> Sorry. I love to talk without the hate. No, oh. for me, there are people who will really hate on other things. It's yeah. not just the question, but everything. Right. So for me, it's just we just gotta move on, accept it, and let's just go on with the question and I just know. say a yes or no. At least we said our piece, and we're done. Yeah, we're not. Sigurd, <laughs> hello. Na. Hello, hello. Hi, who's are this? Are you Raymond? Yes, finally Raymond. Oh my God, Hi, Raymond! Hey, Raymond. Thank you for Hi, calling the show. You. Welcome to the show. Okay. Hello, girls. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. Yep. Um. So first, let me just say that I completely understand where you girls are coming from as well. Mm-hmm. That Dell mentioned that it's all about productivity and stuff. But let me also try to explain the other side. And let's make this more of a discourse, I guess, more than a debate. That is okay. what I've been yes. wanting since Perfect, last right? week. Okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah, um, I think where most of the people who found the question a little bit insensitive are coming from. Wait, sorry, and how did you find out about? Do you follow the mother show? No, 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 you I follow don't follow Andy? the. Well, I hear it from. I, I hear it early in the morning when I go to work. Uh, but um, the exact poll question is just scrolled through my Twitter, Twitter feed and it was shared by some friends as well. Uh, and mm-hmm. th- who were also enraged at the question? Um, a mix, a, a mix of reactions, I, w- I would say. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so maybe just to go back to the poll question itself, what I found what I found ins- insensitive about it, I guess, is that um, I understand that most of your listeners are probably moms who also have the same concern. But at the same time, there's also another person in the same line of questioning, which is the household helper. And I guess where people are coming from is that for the household helper, the Wi-Fi access may not be the biggest priority on their end. That they may have other problems aside from that Wi-Fi access, which needs to be addressed first. So Wait, it's like thinking, okay. thinking about like a Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? It's maybe a lot of you are familiar. They, we would need to try to secure first their basic necessities, their basic needs, before even thinking about do they need Wi-Fi access or not. So it's just really, and I understand that also Dell is coming from about some people feeling good in social media when they incite these things. I also want you to know that some people are just really genuinely passionate about representing other voices as well, aside from, I guess, your direct audience, which are moms. So there. Uh, one question. Do, did you hear the other callers? Yep, yep, I heard you all the call. Okay, the pop boy and Jessica. Right, okay. And then, um, you do know that all the question is coming from a show that deals with mothers and everything that concerns mothers. So, knowing knowing the platform, and I I totally understand. Um, I understand what you are saying, and but I think that it's become a platform, not so much to discuss the point. But to introduce another point, I, I I totally agree with you that the the part of the question that that you want to bring up is there are other needs, correct? Of the correct. kasambahays, yeah. there are more basic mm, needs. You're, you're, we already um, fulfilled that. Yeah. This question is coming from beyond that. Beyond that. Would you say that we're in a we're in the middle of a digital age, Raymond? We are, we are. Would you say that questions like this brings forth discourse that helps us understand how to how to move Maneuver. around in this digital age? It does, but Is let it me just let me just interject in this line of questioning already, right? Where I feel the insensitivity may be felt by other people yeah. is that for other of your for for your other listeners, they might not be hearing this side at all. No, 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 no. No, they, they they reacted to the question. It's the people who are reacting negatively to the question that don't listen to the show. And that's where I, I you yeah, know, that's where the problem lies. Is because if you listen to the show and, and, and the Twitter handle is Mother Show eight nine nine, that means that everything that we spew out is for the listeners who follow. In the other account. words in other words, Raymond, we're talking about context. Yeah. So taking a question outside of its context can be evil, but put it in its proper context of the mother show of mother concerns and parenting concerns, it's not. Have you tuned into the? Have Have you listened to the show previously? I, I have, I have. In your nine episodes, maybe a couple uh, prior to this one. Did you listen? Where to I would also one? like you to listen to your to 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 your critics. I would say is yeah. that when you when you when you say it's a context, right? It's also a context of um, the society where your Humanity. question is coming from, right? Uh, Which yeah. I guess is 
which I guess is where these other people are coming from. No, no, no. They're, 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 wait, they're coming wait. from a purely online perspective. Right. I, I have not received uh, negative feedback about this question from our listeners. From the well, people. Well, I hope. Well, I yeah. hope you listen to also to my side because I I online before. No, 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 Raymond. Listen, we appreciate you calling. Like, like we said, we we just really wanted to know where you were coming from. And no, no, I understand. Do you yeah. have you have children, Raymond? No, I know. No. Do you run a household? No, 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 guys. Okay. Um, uh, I'm no, no, no. We're not allowed to adopt here in the Philippines yet. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I understand. So so not yet. Uh uh-uh. So th- you are not a parent. And you have not enlisted the help of a household to take care of your child while you are away at work. Is this I correct? I have not, but I, I do have brothers and sisters who have who, children who have. as well. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Do they have... Okay. Do, do they... Okay. So, so in your experience, you don't know the concerns of mothers who work and leave their their children to the household. Is this correct? I, I, under, I completely understand the concerns, though. Maybe I, I don't come from that same concern. Uh-huh, and right, right. You can also say that I am not a household help myself, but right, I right. try to voice out their concerns as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. No, I, we but, just... But, I also, but I'm also a manager, and you were saying that this question is more about productivity. So I understand. I completely understand where you're coming from. Uh-huh. Um, what I just want you, you to listen to also is that the people who voiced out their reactions about this are also just trying to represent the other end of the line where you don't try to remove the humanity out of the other person. Oh There's my nobody God. The person. But uh, within its context, nobody is uh, no stripping the humanity. When you talk about this in companies, you do not strip the, the, the personality or the humanity of your workers. It's an actual logistic Concern. See, Raymond, the mere fact that you would assume that hurts my very soul. I think that's it. <laughs> I think <laughs> the whole yeah, the whole concept of being called like an elitist or like burgess well, or something I, I like that. Well, I have to give it to Raymond that he didn't. Mm. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah, hello girls. Sorry, sorry. Let me just clarify myself. I'm not attacking the messenger. No, 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 here. no, no, I'm no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. The It's the question. If anything, yeah. I, I feel bad that you guys felt that it was going a personal line of, of questioning. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> ah, thank you so much, Raymond. Thank you, girl. Good okay, luck. thank Bye-bye. you. Good luck. It's ten fifty-eight. See, now we know where they're coming from. <clears throat> I, I, yeah, it's it really is context. Yeah, it's you know, I, I I I love listening to TED Talks, the yeah. the radio side mm-hmm. of TED Talks. Yeah, and there was someone who was saying, in our world, a lot of the misunderstanding. Art. comes out of not looking at things in context. Yeah. So you can use a statement outside of its context mm-hmm. and look at it in a totally different way. Yeah. But when you know who's talking yeah. and why they're talking, then it will make sense. Yeah. And so, you know, there's no... There, uh, this is not about hating no, on it's anybody. Not. And this is why I was saying... And I, okay. I have to say, uh, thank you to Raymond for actually calling. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was I surprised. Well, but, thank you. Well, for me... Where he's coming from It's just I think he just wanted to tackle More beyond the Wi-Fi Yeah It mm. was more of the rights yeah. Of the Of your help Like yeah. your SSS Your BIR yeah. And all of that But for like me It was just It was just a question It was an innocent question That we wanted mothers to know yeah. And get information and about assu- And tips on how they handle Their help so With the, the as- Wi-Fi The assumption is That we uh, we do all of that For the help yeah. But the assumption is they do have their salary. That's exactly. They, yes. Yeah, they that's do have everything already. Else. Yes. But yeah, even, that's so the bare minimum. Yes. Right? Again, the question was to stimulate <laughs> this kind of discourse. Yeah. Okay. But I, I have to say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And then, Raymond. you know. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome to the What's show. Up? Hi. I just, you know, couldn't help it. 10:59. Feeling ko kasi, di ba? Parang the person who just, I mean, si Raymond, di ba? No, what about? manage the household, wala naman siyang kids. So, no, it's so easy for him to, you know, parang, ewan ko eh, feeling ko masyado siyang ano eh, nagmamagaling and he's just wasting your inner time. Nakakabuisit. Um, well, we we encourage not to feel that because, mm-hmm. you know, the feeling, feeling that will incite you know, yeah. Don't, uh, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't give in to the negativity because I really think that it's. Yeah, I know. Pero, so yes or no? Yeah, um, yes, yeah, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Um, do you the give the uh, the Wi-Fi password to your help? Yes or no? Me, yeah, I don't. I mean, they have their own data, kasi. So okay. Ah, okay. Data. Okay. It's, sorry, parang na ano lang kung kung dami yung issues siguro. We're okay, we're okay, yeah, we're good. Don't worry. Don't yeah. let it ruin your Friday. Don't let it ruin your Friday. But thank you so yeah. much for calling. 
Okay. So that's a, no. so that's a no. I think we should play a song, guys. <laughs> Last call, and then we'll play a song. Magic, hello. Okay. Whoa, hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you sound like you're comment. having a. Uh, well, okay. Oh, there you go. Go. Uh, First, what uh, is your name? Well, I, 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 uh, I. Sorry, I, what's your name? This is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Charlie. Hey. Um. The, I actually hire helpers. Mm-hmm. Not to ha- not for my children, but for my parents. Okay. The mm. concept of pr- I totally understand productivity and all that. In fact, um, I don't give, I don't actually allow them to use cell phone during okay. the work period. Okay. Because I totally understand uh, that uh, what they do there is uh, I, do, I tell my helper, hey, you know what, you do all of this, all of these things like they like what you do, Del. You I give them time to do whatever everything, everything that they want after this time. Mm-mm. So yeah, so to me, and then that understanding is very uh, mutual with, with the helper, and it, it's okay. Um, and I, I don't see that is so, there's something wrong about that. And I, I'm not, you know, I'm not abusing her, or because they should know. They have to understand that we're paying them to do the job. So mm-hmm. if you're in a job, if you're in, the, if you're, if you are there to do the job, then of course your your employer needs to do. You, you need you need you need to follow the instructions. Yeah. So having a Wi-Fi is actually a benefit, or it's a, it's a plus point. But if you think about it, if you don't back in the days, there's nothing yeah, that they could do. They just stay in the house and just do whatever they want. Right. Now yeah. the guy probably, I, I think, yeah, it's a good question that you throw in. That uh, I think he doesn't have experience of having number one having a helper, or maybe it's. That's why his perspective is different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's a matter and of perspective. It and is. So. And, and yeah. also in context. <laughs> yeah, it's the context. Yeah. That you do not do It's like a road that forks. Yeah. It's it's a good road, but other people went one way, and then you know. But if he, the the question was taken out of context of mothers talking of mothers working mothers who need to leave the home and leave their children behind. And the fear is that something will be missed and something will happen to the children yeah. when the one you tasked to take care of them is so busy online. Yeah. 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 And we know that even I'm guilty, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, we, we see, this, you're right, Ricky uh, hit the, the nail on its head when he, <laughs> she said, it's a digital world and we're learning how to maneuver. Mm-hmm. We cannot take get rid of it anymore. It's mm-hmm. already here for yeah. better or for worse. Mm-hmm. And it's just a way to move. And a lot of that will be determined by asking the correct questions and learning how to answer it. See, how are we supposed to teach our, kill, our children about asking questions if we ourselves don't ask <laughs> questions? But guys, you did a great job there. But you know, if <laughs> and then, uh, and then you, but what was there a but? Sorry, you, and but, but, but what? Continue. No, no, no I'm Charlie. just saying you did a great job in handling that kind of reaction. Uh, I mean, that, you, you want to know why, Charlie? Because we're yeah. mothers. We're <laughs> mothers too. Yeah. Thing. We and fix he, things. I also, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you know what, Charlie? I'm already thinking like ten years down the line, and I have a teenager, <laughs> and I have to deal with him. Like Cooper at 15 is just gonna be a handful. Uh, so what I'm doing, what we're doing now on the show, it's practice. Is practice. <laughs> yeah, it's practice. <laughs> anyway. and, and that level, and I, I really appreciate mothers because the level of responsibility you guys are. Well, I, I just just an example. My mom, we're three in the family. I, back in the days, there's no helpers, there's no yaya, and I was I was asking my mom, hey, you know, Maha, how do you actually able to handle that? Oh, right? oh that's a question Insane. that we all ask. How do you <laughs> handle uh, it? Yes, they do and that. During that time, my mom doesn't have a car to travel, and yeah. she brings us to all these places oh, and all that. Oh my and gosh! And now, you know, moms are nowadays are pretty much lucky. But we I are know, very much right? yes. Anyway. Anyways, guys, have a thank have you a so great much, yeah, Charlie. Thank you. thank you for calling. Thank you Good so job. much. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> it's eleven oh five. Hold on, we never even answered our own question. Yeah, you want to answer the question? You. How about you first, Ricky? I live with my mother-in-law, okay. and I'm not one to step on her toes, like how she wants to run her household. Right. So I am out of the question. I I don't uh, that's her decision. want. Yeah, that's, yeah her decision. that's her decision. Her decision is not to. Mm-hmm. Specifically because she doesn't want them to be on their phones all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm not one to like. 
Well, me, I do give. Sorry. Let okay, me, go. But if you did run your own household, yeah, well, what I would, would happen? You, I would. Yeah. You would give the password. I would. Mm-hmm. But if, but the moment I see that she's something's being missed, it, exactly, uh-uh. yeah. that's when I You'll set put, yeah. boundaries. Okay. Probably take it away. Okay, me, I do give the Wi-Fi password, but I have rules. Mm. Like, first is you can't use your phone inside the house. Mm-hmm. So when you're cleaning, when you're taking care of my, my kid, mm-hmm. you can't use your phone. But when you're outside, usually their free time is when Olivia naps, which is like for two hours during um, the afternoon, so they can use their phone, or in the morning when we're still not awake, and then at night. So they have mm-hmm. a lot of break time to yeah, use yeah, yeah. their phone. So basically, I give the Wi-Fi with rules, with a set of rules. Mm-hmm. So Delamar. they're not allowed to use the phone yeah, when inside the home. Yeah, inside it, the house. Is that with an express feeling that they will be taking pictures and No, no, it's I mean it's fine to take photos, but it's just more like do your work first and you can uh, use your phone right, after. Right, right, right. Yeah. So because right. you don't want them texting inside the house or yeah. you know like But that's also what you will tell your children when they go to school. Yeah. You can go online after your homework. <laughs> you know what? That's another topic again. Because it's di- like our kids are young, mm-hmm. but when you have kids that are older, no, mine, like, mine oh. is already there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. No, this is see. This right. This also, is a different discussion. This is a different. Yeah. This is going to birth our next poll question. <laughs> birth. I love. I love <laughs> like, the verb that yeah. you used. Birth. No. Um. For me, because in in my household right now. Yeah, our Wi-Fi password is on the refrigerator. Yeah, it's on a masking tape, and yeah. all the yeah, the ours too. Yeah, is just look at it, and yeah. they can go online. As a matter of fact, I've never had a problem. Uh, but the, here's the thing: like what Charlie brought up, and what Ricky is also bringing up. For me, as soon as I know that you can't handle the the internet, you're out of my house. Yeah, because I would rather do all the work mm-hmm. than bring my child to an ER. Yeah. Okay, that is, that is a non-negotiable as a mom. Mm-hmm. I need to know that my ch- I entrust the children to you, and you understand the responsibility. Mm-hmm. And once you know the the you know it can happen, it can be your own sister. Yeah, mm-hmm. the bad yes. that you entrust your child to, but if she's uh, doing her IG stories and your child falls down yeah. the stairs, you know it's the same decision whether she's somebody related to you or someone you hired. So yeah, you know why I. I this is gonna cap off this entire question. The, <laughs> okay. My my motivation for this question is because in one of the mommy um, forums on Facebook, there was one mom who was so clueless because she said, "Okay, I found my yaya on Facebook, and I I discovered that she's been posting pictures of my son." Yep. In another <gasps> dialect. I saw did, did that. You see that. I saw okay. That. In another dialect, and she was like, "Moms, I need your help. If you speak the certain dialect, Kinaraya? let me know. Kinaraya? Yeah. Or let okay. me know what she's trying to say. Yeah. Ang haba ng caption na katagot. Tapos let's just put the, the the child she took pictures the yaya took pictures yeah. of the child na nakakulong what yes in the crib, sa yeah, crib. somewhere there yeah, yeah. Like, in, in the room took a picture of the room of the kid of her kasama pa yung yaya sa picture yeah. and she was like um, I need help in translating this message that is scary and the message came out like yeah yung isang line yeah, na. Parang, I can't relax if you're awake can hindi you go to sleep maka, hindi ako maka Facebook hindi ako maka FB ah! Kay, kaya niya kinulong wow. yung bata yeah. para makapag FB siya and oh, people wow. were commenting na parang ha 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 baka mahuli ka or something like that and she would just like make jest of it yeah. so that was you know that, that was the motivation for the question but we will come up with a brand new question <laughs> can, can I can point of clarity wow parang <laughs> sana <laughs> okay go point go delamar <laughs> no I, I don't think we should shrink away from conversations like this mm-hmm. because in as much as the show is about mothers what raymond brought up gives us a chance to understand how to talk to each other yes yeah i still don't think he was correct mm-hmm. but i would lo- i love that he listened i love that he called i love that and he, he called. had a side and love it Raymond. yeah and and now we understand where everybody is coming from yeah, yeah. and hopefully you know uh it, it's possible that another question could get this kind of traction guys and kay, it's- kayo na next question ayaw na mag-isip ng question please uh, break salitan tayo lahat <laughs> teamwork i like this one sasha uh purse actually said uh the show is about mothers not not the public service kind. Yeah, that, that's what I was... Because when he started... When Raymond started talking about the different, more important needs of of our household help. And I, I you know, I, I got into... Uh, I got into a discussion on Twitter as well with somebody who, who reacted negatively against it. He was like, there are other questions. Like, does he have SSS? Do you give them pag-ibig? And I'm like, yeah, but those are already part of the Kasambahay law. This is something different. And it's something that got 1,700 a, a responses. So we're grateful... Um, that uh, the the answer is yes. So that 
And also, please, l- please learn to argue and properly, please l- and please learn assumptions. <laughs> assumptions. Because if yeah. you do not yes. have the same assumption, you will be led to a different conclusion. Yes. Yeah. Please, okay. let, let's learn to argue. Don't don't hassle <laughs> yourselves. You know, everybody's just here trying to do the best they can in this short life. <laughs> So don't and try to be little other We're all trying people. to figure things out. Right? Mm. Like anyway, figuring so... Figuring out what the next question will be. Ooh. Should it be about Wi-Fi again? Maybe like teen- teenagers and Wi-Fi yes. use? Yeah. Yes. I actually. would say... I would totally just change gears. Yeah? I okay. would change gears. What baon is better <laughs> than... <laughs> We'll think of something yes later. No uh, we'll think of something. Oh, in the meantime, goodness. though, thank you so much for all your responses. Again, you can follow that us. That was on intense, guys. It's at Mother Show 899. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the show right after this. Don't go anywhere. And your word of the day. Yes. Word of the day. Plus a surprise. <laughs> We've got that Mommy Magic. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. The show for moms by mom. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. It's 11.17. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. I want to say hi to my Memphis who's listening. To Kathy, um, thank you very much. To Digna, I hug you right uh, Hi. Thank hi, you guys Digna. for listening. And to Vanya, my manager. Hi, V. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, go ahead. Oh. Hey. Oh. Sorry. Can I also say hello to Cherry, <laughs> the, the great antagonizer? <laughs> Cherry the Great. Uh, I'm very- just having a Cherry. Well, uh, she's just, you know, um, just talking about, just re- actually reacting to how I argue, and she's just yeah. hilarious. Anyway, I won't read that on air. Okay. No <laughs> Um, and then yeah, it's all. Um, Butter Baby Thirty says, "Hey guys, ninety-four days before Christmas. Hey, what a reminder! 90, hey, w- by the way, when do you put up your Christmas tree? Is it after Halloween? Animal, this is a valid question. I need. Dude, to I don't." Well, we're not we're not gonna be here for Christmas. Yet. <laughs> so no, but when are you gonna put up a tree anyway? Yeah, we yeah, always right? get a real one. But last oh. year I had to get a plastic one. Where do you buy a real one? SNR. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Is I it expensive? Just... Is it expensive? Like, okay, we'll get in trouble again. Uh, I know, okay. man, wow. Sabi niya, no, because I want to know. I've never had like a real Christmas tree. No, can you imagine? Oh, like, you, you can, can you? Re- yeah. you um, the smell. You have to read. It's so wonderful. Really? Can I just tell you? But you need to have the aircon on. Okay. Because it preserves the that scent mm-hmm. and it prolongs the green life of the tree. Okay. Can I can I tell you a story? Yeah. So I have a I have a nephew um, who is seven and on his seventh birthday, his mom surprised him one Christmas by getting a real tree. And he had Aww. never seen one before. So as soon as he mm. woke up, you know, there was a smell of that yeah. fresh. It was a surprise. And it was like so cute. How exciting! So, so he was raving is about December. it. Yes, I it's, it's in the December. So when uh-uh. you, and, you see them in books, you know you see the. You know what? To be honest, ones. I think I've never seen a real Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Iba, because well, Iba, my, my messy. Hus- it's messy. Yes, it's messy. Yeah. So messy. Uh, my husband is an American, so yeah. to them, that's what that's their standard. Mm. Uh, oh. An actual tree, you need to sweep every day, sometimes twice a day. Okay. Uh, and then there's a way to put it. There's a stand. Yeah. And you need to screw it. And then oh. you all screw it. Yes. Okay, that's it's complicated. Place. That's what she uh-huh. said. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you are kinky. No, I mean no. <laughs> Meaning to say, to be said, <laughs> that you are Phoebe. Yes, yes, you are. I wish she gets screwed. Oh I didn't gosh. say that. I didn't say that. I said <laughs> I would. <laughs> That's how I read it, or that's how I understood it. Because you, know you two are kinky. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. I just repeated what Delamar said. Ako lang, right? ako lang yung matino. Ako lang yung matino dito, guys. Just okay, so surprises. What's what's your biggest surprise? In so your far, life? Uh-huh. probably you know what I would want. Like okay. I, I would want a real Christmas tree. Like like okay. what Del said, it, it would be a nice surprise because this is like so so we just recently moved in, right? Yeah. In our new house. So this is also like our official first Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's gonna you be should. nice. So yeah. Paging GP. You should get. Uh, yeah, you, should you get definitely real, should get, get a the real, real tree. And you know, I love. Okay, so I know, I know. Today we had 
a couple of firsts. You know, we had Raymond, you know, we had uh, oh, we had our first <laughs> argument, yes. Our so mom debate. I think the most intense, as of yet, right? the most Less intense conversation mm-hmm. on the mother show. We, we've had surprises off air as well yeah. among the three of us because, you know, it, it's a whole other show if we're <laughs> off air. Um, oh, yeah. But I, you know what, I really appreciate that there's another surprise that, that happened today. Um, our friends from Red Ribbon, look at that cake, it's amazing. Oh, I put it, okay, yes. put it on so your stream for everybody to yeah. see. Yeah, Ustream, um, um, you can see it. Yeah, if you guys if you guys are just listening, basically it's a chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's like lo- like colorful lollipops, like three pieces of lollipop on top. And it's like sprinkled with what? Like colorful hearts or stars? It's, what it's is the that? kind of cake that you want to just bury your head in and just like... <laughs> okay, so go to <laughs> okay, so, vote this cake. Okay, right? so Red, Red Ribbon sent this newest treat yes! and it's called the Rainbow Dedication Cake. Yes. Okay. okay. You know, I don't know if you guys have seen it or if you can see it there. We focused the camera on it. Um, but it's it's a it's a it's it a has, beautiful cake. And it has a commercial, a fully animated commercial. It has yeah. its own commercial? Like CGI, yeah. The it CGI is. that mm-hmm. we talk about mm-hmm. like with Game of Thrones. <laughs> that the level. Dragons, yes. Yeah, the dragons. It's that big of a cake. And that way, if you've seen the commercial, the commercial can capture the magical feeling that the uh. cake and will vote. bring out in, in your, your kids, kids. <laughs> if they see it because look at it it's it's tempting don't you just want to to dig in <laughs> no because it's a rainbow oh, okay. and right now without the slicing of it yeah. you don't see the rainbow yes. so don't you want to see the rainbow and you know, if you guys oh, really? haven't seen the vi- uh, the like the commercial, or and you follow us on Instagram, we're actually gonna post the video later on. Okay. Um, it's gonna be at the Mother Show eight nine nine, so you guys can see like the cool um the cool effect of like us cutting the cake and yes. just experiencing everything inside. So please don't hesitate to drop by Red Ribbon Stores nationwide mm-hmm. and try the Rainbow Dedication Cake for only three hundred eighty pesos for the junior size. But if, in case you want more <laughs> a bigger one you can get a regular size for 550 and you can give your child a magical birthday experience oh nice mm-hmm. okay no, I, I can't wait to I know we, we <laughs> actually asked someone to bring in yeah, a, a sorry. knife sorry three forks okay why three forks three forks <laughs> Dude. are you sure well, we can share we can have one fork okay. we're fine and you know what just like yeah Put your hand in the icing, Ricky, and just like lick it. I want to put my face in the cake. No, you know what? <laughs> like, okay. <damn>. So, <laughs> <laughs> see, and you call me green. No, I love my Andy. You, know, you really are. What do you think? Oh my goodness, Hidden. guys. Hidden green. No, oh, Hidden Hidden green. Green. I'm an angel. You're an HG. What's HG? Hidden green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're Rachel. Oh, Rachel oh. Green. Rachel <laughs> Green. Uh-huh. Perfect. Okay. okay, here we go. So here we go. We're going to see the rainbow. All right. So I'm going to... Do you like it cut a specific <laughs> way? Do you want a heart-shaped slice? Do you you know, sorry. I have an OC friend. Yeah. And if you do not slice a cake the, to his specifications, it drives him insane. <gasps> I'm like going to... So yeah, how, cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So how do you really cut a cake? It's just the side first, Did you about. see... It? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I go. Did you see that video on YouTube about cutting a cake properly? Really? Yes. No. The one where you slice in the middle yeah, and, and then, then you, you push them together so it, so it doesn't dry moisture. out. How do you push it together? Like so this. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> okay, we need a video for this. <laughs> We're going to cut it. Oh my goodness. Mm. We're going to cut it. Okay, come on, go. come on. Know, Enough with the talk. I no, want no, just no. cut it, Ricky. Okay, Ricky is cutting uh, the new red ribbon rainbow dedication cake. And Andy is annotating it. <laughs> okay, she is about to lift it up. And, and there it is. Yeah, so there you look. Go. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, we have okay. no plate. Maybe we could just put it here in the folder. What yeah, can we have a paper plate? Or in my mouth. We have to mine in the booth. But no, sorry, we're working. Yeah. Yeah. Look, work. look. All right, we so we're, we're, we're just working. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Inside the cake, uh, you have the colors blue, blue green, and, and pink. pink. Look yeah. Nice. So beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> See? You don't. You, you, I want you, you don't to see taste it, and you have to you describe it. Hold on. <laughs> can I just? Yes, see you can. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you're can gonna I just taste try it? it. I just want to say hello to Sasha Purse. Hi, Sasha. That is too big, Ricky. No, 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 no. no. Also, no, Sasha, Ricky, I have good news Ricky, for you. Oh, you do it, Ricky. It's lunchtime. Eat no, it. No. Eat the cake. Okay, I'll eat it. She's off okay. mic, folks, and the reason is, of course, the rainbow dedication cake, oh courtesy. <laughs> I know, is it good? I'm so happy I didn't give you (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh that was a big piece, Ricky. But so, yeah. grabe. No, it was a big piece, but grabe naman. But was anyway, no? uh, the rainbow dedication uh, cake is actually the newest um, uh, in Rev Dribbon's chocolate cake. It means it's fully coated in chocolate uh. from top to bottom. Uh. It's ah! even topped with chocolate rosettes, colorful ah! candy sparkles, and rainbow tone lollipops. Don't you just love the word sparkles? Sparkles is such a nice word. Glitter that's, sparkles. That's what we call Parker at home. Sparkles? Hey, sparkles. sparkles. Oh, hey, Sparks. Mm, that's what we call him. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Sounds but like a doggy from, name, though. Sparks. Sparks. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, did you just call my son a dog? <laughs> no, but it sounds like a dog well, name. Actually, he, he kind of right? behaves like one. Okay. You know why? Nakaabang siya sa dining table, <laughs> waiting for scraps. He, this is, <laughs> no, on, I'm serious. Like, he already had lunch or dinner. And then when all of us are still eating, so Oh, he'll, he'll go to Cute. my side and expect like a bite. Wow. Anyway. You have your plate. Yes. Okay, right. so we're trying the cake. The right. mother yeah. show. The mother okay. show is ending uh, thirty minutes early. <laughs> but okay, here's another surprise. As if this wasn't enough of a surprise, Red Ribbon has planned out a wonderful surprise for moms out there. They will be giving away one hundred fifty regular eight by twelve size Red Ribbon what? Rainbow Dedication Cake wow. through their Rainbow Surprise promo. So, what do you need to do? What do you need to do, Dell? Tell them. <laughs> All you have. To Kayo, ha? Kasi Sorry, kayo. Kayo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all you have to do Sorry. is one, buy the new rainbow dedication cake, mm. junior or regular size. Mm. Two, take a picture of your kid's surprise reaction to the treat. Mm. And three, upload the photos or maybe a short video, right? Okay. On Red Ribbon's Facebook Rainbow Grabe. Surprise promo page. That's www.facebook.com slash Red Ribbon Bake Shop. To get the chance to win one of the 150 regular sized rainbow dedication cakes. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. You should take a bite, though. I know. Tapusin ko na kaya. Wait lang, meron pa. Uh, don't hesitate to drop by uh, any red ribbon stores nationwide. And you guys can try the rainbow dedication cake yourself. And it's only 380 pesos for the junior size and 550 pesos for the 8x12 cakes. Yes. So it's going to give your child a magical birthday experience. And you can have a birthday every day. So the Makes rainbow surprise good. promo is running from the uh, September 21 mm -hmm. yesterday. And it will last until October 23. Mm -hmm. Per DTI FTEB number 14567 series of 2017. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't do the show. I know. Okay. I've lost so my mic. But, but, but here's some Fine. Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Moms, I'd like to follow The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. We've got that Mommy Magic. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. It's 1140. That was Mariah Carey in a song called Always Be My Baby. We oh. are done in 20 minutes. What? That's insane. Like we just didn't we just start the show a minute ago? That's exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have enough time today. Yeah, grab it. Like we don't even have enough time to process each and every question that's been raised. We didn't even get to talk to each other about, about our how our week went. Yeah, like, what our entire week, guys? Mm. So what did you do, Ricky? Are we starting off with me? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, I had a uh, pretty hectic week. We are wrapping up the preps for Calix's first birthday. Yay! So wait, now what's the theme? Um, it's it Alice. It's a woodland wonderland. Oh, uh, woodland, woodland wonderland. wonderland. So grabe ang hirap sabihin. So it's uh -oh. so what, like forest. Wonderland. It's like, foresty. They're gonna be giant mushrooms. Oh, like in Wonderland. There's gonna be. Do you have an owl. event coordinator? Yes. Ah. I love her. Ikoi, if you're listening, I love you so much. So yeah, this is the first time I'm not getting involved in so preparation. So when is it going to oh, be really? where? Yeah. Who's invited? Um, well, it's going to be at... <laughs> and everybody's invited. Don't tell anybody. No, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ricky, we'll we're them. here. No, there's that. And I just want to thank the lovely people um, uh, uh, of, of, of Globe for having me yesterday. I hosted something for them. And you, you're you going to want to hear this. So it's a, it's a whole campaign that they have um, supporting girls. It's called... Okay. It's a girl thing and they they address the situation of the youth young women now who are always online liking and sharing and posting and loving and watching youtubers and they gather the top female social media influencers and they bring them to one conference so it's like oh, discourse nice. yeah. yeah and i was i was interviewing some of these girls they they flew in remy cruz um, from LA who is a YouTuber she does everything um, but they also had like Yana Valenciano Abby Asistio Pamela Swing 
um, who's also a local YouTuber, Janina Vela, and I was asking them about, you know, body positivity, what do you see for the future, you know, what do you want your followers to get from you, and they were giving so... It, it was it was so... Um, like, I was just vibing off of their answers because mm-hmm. they were so good. Mm-hmm. And these... And, and I was thinking to myself, if I had, if I had a daughter, like... These are the kinds of people I would want them to watch online. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I, I just figured, you know, this is something that... that Women you of guys, substance. Women True. of substance. Yes. Exactly. Agree. And, and, you know, th- this is something that I wanted to share with the both of you since you both have daughters. That, you know, it's something to consider. Lala. But there are still good people in this world online. <laughs> there are. Yeah, there are you just lot. have to filter oh God, and you lot. just need to know. I just yeah. know where you're coming from. But that's what <laughs> I'm saying. No, no, I agree. The world is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to have positivity. Nice group. Yeah. <laughs> right? right? So yeah, that was, that, was, uh, that was my week in a nutshell. How about you guys? Sorry, one last question. <laughs> no. Kumikirot ba ang matres mo kasi gusto mo ng daughter? Lalim <laughs> <laughs> na What? Like your uterus. Basically, are you starting, like... Yeah, are you, are you getting that baby... I don't know. Craving for, you know... I think Let's Ricky's gonna get pregnant. You know, maybe yes. if ever we do have season two, you're gonna be pregnant. By season two. By season two. <laughs> Let's... Money down. Grabe Ricky. Kayo, <laughs> Ricky. Yes. I know. Money down, and Ricky. Game I know. Challenge. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Challenge accepted. That's our new poll. Yeah. Who what? do you think will get pregnant first? <laughs> Ricky or Andy? Or? No, Andy. Or Dale. Oh, Dale. 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 Oh, my goodness. Sige na, please. Yes. Look, first. we're coming off a very, very intense poll question. Oh, see, I am Let's have something that very... I'm foreseeing the comments are going to be like, you guys are so self-centered. You just talk about yourselves all day long. You guys should just... No, no, no we, we, we removed it. It's <laughs> negativity already. I've been, so. I've been scarred. <laughs> no. Yeah. A, no, but okay, that's, okay, a, that's, we a, that's, that's our poll question. Oh, and okay. then... We're going with something like... What, we're so not going to Ricky. <laughs> Text what me if when you're no? <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's gonna happen tonight. <laughs> anyway, text, sorry. Sorry. text me when you're oh my see, you're the green one. Andy, seriously. No, I'm just saying we're it's coming anyway, out, Andy. It's, it's coming, coming out. out. Guys. Stop trying to deny it. I think it. the vibe of Delamar, she's just passing it on to me. No, I'm so like don't hide behind me. Don't hide behind me. Wait, 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 what did you do? What me, did you do? Um, <sighs> I had, a, I had a fun weekend. Uh, we were in Hong Kong. I saw the yes, pictures. It was so my, fun. My favorite is when you guys were kissing and Olivia yeah, was looking at mom super and dad cute. kissing. Can I just say, because Olivia gets jealous every time GP and I kiss. Mm. So, parang she wants to join in. Okay. Even when we hug. Aww. Like, hey, bye, bye, babe. And then she just runs and she goes, how about me? How about me? Cute. It's always like that. She always gets jealous. So, in this photo, we were like, okay, let's try to kiss where she can't reach. <laughs> and let's just kiss in a photo. <laughs> So it's good. So anyway, we went to Hong Kong. Uh, We went to Disneyland. Uh Uh, We enjoyed... There's a new hotel in Disneyland. So in in Hong Kong, there are three, which is the Hollywood Hotel. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Disneyland Hotel, which is a classic one. And there's the Disneyland Explorer's Lodge. This is like, like for... Like it's more for guys. Like it's like if you want to go on an adventure, mm. like a jungle, like My a safari. Wow. Yeah, that's the whole theme of the whole hotel, and it's so detailed. It's so nice that it's like you're, you're in, so excited. You're, I'm just super excited. It's you like you're in tours, Africa. Yeah. That's how, that's how it is. <laughs> No baby <laughs> Guys huh? Did you? No Andy Guys Are we four in this booth? <laughs> Stop it So anyway We went And it was just so much fun Um, I, I was expecting the weather To be mm-hmm. colder But September in Hong Kong It's really hot Oh. It's really warm. So oh if you no. guys plan to go, it's um, a sticky kind of warm. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. If you guys plan to go, maybe like late October is the perfect time. So it gets a, it's a little colder. Ah, okay. And then just yeah. try to book in the Explorers Lodge. It's really, really nice. Interesting. Mm. That's nice. What Hong happened Kong to my weekend? Week? Yeah. What yeah. happened mm. to you? We finally found a home. Oh, congratulations! Well, di pa amin, so don't congratulate. Ah, okay. yes. well, where where is, it? is it? Is it in the Ortigas area? No, or no, is no. It it's in the same village. Okay. okay, so we wanted to stay in the same village, but now we want our own home because the really living in Fairview for the last two years was really more of do we like it here? Is mm-hmm. this where we're gonna raise our kids? And you know, and now that we know yes, we we set out to look for a house. Mm-hmm. 
And of the many houses that we've seen, we saw one that we really like. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Did it speak to you? Are there houses that are like that, right? Yeah. When you see it, you're like, yep, you just that's know. The one. You can imagine yourself. Because it. it came down to two. Like one was like, whoa, you know, impressive. Mm-hmm. But the other one felt like home. you, like yeah, like home. home, like yeah. you know, Aww. it's nothing fancy, but it's yours. Yeah. It's your space. So. Um, Ganda rin ang presyo. Malunok rin ang presyo. Kaya, yun yun lang naman. Pero, so, I've been thinking about it the whole week. Like, I really want this house. But I had to stop myself and say, look, the things that you have are the things that I think is really yours. Yeah. So, you can put it out there into the universe and say, I want this house. And then, don't stress about it. If it's yours, it will be yours. Mm-hmm. If it's not, if it's this is not the house for you, you won't get it, then... Just believe that somewhere, You're meant for something else. Yeah. yeah. So I had to like soothe myself because I mean I'm getting attacked. Yes. You know I was thinking, damn it, bakal may magdown payment. <laughs> so I was doing all the paperwork uh-huh. for the loan. Uh-huh. You know, talking yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Uh, seller to two banks. Mm-hmm. Alam mo pala, with banks, <laughs> magahagal sila. Yes. Yes. I, I, I so, experienced that. The ba? Yes. So if let's say Bank A says, okay, I'll give you the house for uh, loan for let's just say six percent. Okay. Other one will say, no, we'll give it to you for five point seventy five. Wait, the other bank asks you if you're in talks. No, but ang nagkakaroon ng ano eh? There's a, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, but it will, it will happen. Somebody will say, try ni yung bank na ganito, and then there's a bidding war that oh. goes on, and then you're like, oh crap, yon. So that's what I've been up to. No, but you know, I just a, just a testimony for about the house because when I because when we were look we were supposed to we were renting before and then we were supposed to move into a condo uh, a condo, and I, I told GP that you know what, let's look around for a house first and mm-hmm. see if we if there's anything we like so we went around and we went to this house that we are in now and I just felt it like it, it was, I was so excited I could imagine like where the furniture was gonna mm-hmm. be and how it's gonna you know how when your family's over that mm-hmm. people can sleep over because right. there's more space and all that and like what you said like I I I was so excited I was so stressed at the same time that I just prayed about it I just said mm. you know what if it's really meant to be mm-hmm. everything Yone. else is gonna be easy mm. right Aww. everything's gonna fall yeah. into place yeah, yeah, yeah. and after two weeks of trying to fix the paperwork and we found the loan and everything happened so fast so mm. we were able to land the house in a month and we were not supposed to live and we yeah, were you not were supposed to buy a house, house. Oh, yeah. yeah so it was all like okay, just, so I'm, I'm gonna believe yeah that. so it just that. happen if it's really for you then yeah. like the universe things will, is, fall, yeah, into things will fall into place right. okay. and everything's gonna be easy I like that because I was stressing because yeah. you know I'm also doing other paperwork you know mm-hmm. we I'm declaring one of our the, the newest baby as a, an American citizen. Yeah. And if you've ever been through that, I have not. I can imagine. It is insane. <laughs> Cuz the requirements. You have to prove to the US oh. government yeah. that this child is really the son or daughter of a citizen. Mm-hmm. And there are many things that they will ask you to do that and the paperwork. It's really the paperwork. It's the paperwork. Yeah. But even I'm with applying loans, for a visa. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah, that's another one. So here's to week two. Let's see where this house house yeah. thing will, will land me in the coming week. Well, hopefully, nothing na pagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpag
We will wrap up the show in about 10 minutes and make way for more of Friday Madness. But before that, let's pause for a song break, yes? Yes. Yep. Let's pause for a song break. You're tuned into The Mother Show only here on Magic 89.9. We've got that Mommy Magic. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. We've got that Mommy Magic. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. go it's 11:56 that is the show um it will be up online by the way you can look up magic 899 tv on youtube nux <laughs> it, it's true i know we're and i'm proud that we have a youtube account does that mean that we're youtubers <laughs> Constantly us being I don't know. Oh my gosh, really? You know, I didn't know. So naughty. You have a YouTuber. There's a difference, pala, between a YouTuber and a vlogger. <gasps> no. Yes. I've been you. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know the definition. But when I told my sister, so uh, so what am I? Am I a YouTuber or a vlogger? And she goes like, "You're a vlogger." I was like. Okay, isn't that the same? I think parang YouTube has to contact you for certain projects if you're a YouTuber. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Delamar, I don't know. You're the most millennial one here. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You're the most millennial one. I don't know. I, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> no, so yeah, this is a this is a Because I think uh, you're a YouTuber if all of it is on YouTube. You're a vlogger. If, you're, if, if you, you have do multiple video blogging. platforms, mm. uh-uh, like you're not just exclusive to YouTube. Yeah. I think the millennials yeah, will know this. There are different like descriptions on YouTube. So. Yeah, see, this like, is a, like, whole a whole new, new world, world, right? Yeah. Is there? Yeah. It, do you have your own website? Yes, yes, but I'm more active on like YouTube. YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. See, I think therein lies the difference. Your platform for the videos. But if you're exclusively on YouTube, then, then you're, you're a YouTuber. YouTuber. Okay. But if you have your vlog in other sites, then you are a vlogger. Got Ooh. it. What do I know? There we go. <laughs> By the millennial. How about word of the day? <laughs> Gen-, Gen X. Aww. Gen X. It's 11.58. He's reminding you that CJ's coming up next for Friday Madness. He'll take care of the music all the way until 3 p.m. In the meantime, our poll question is up. Yes. Who is going to have baby number two? Yes. Is it oh A, goodness. Andy, or B, Ricky? I, I want to vote. I'm gonna vote for Ricky. Okay, I want to see who's. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh vote my god! He's <laughs> voting now. Why? I'm leading. <laughs> huh? You're leading. I'm leading by 71 percent. 75 oh my votes. Oh gosh! What happened, man? You're of leading. Course. Huh? Yeah, we'll yeah, see. I bet you. We'll see yeah. how this goes, and the the question will be finally answered. At least the poll question will be answered. Because you always expect it, and you will be surprised, oh, oh, oh. But you know what? You'll never know. You never know what could yeah. happen between uh, you know, now and next Friday. At we're 10. full of surprises here. <laughs> yes. On the Mother Show. So again, catch us online magic899.fm. Once again, my name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is. Is Delamar and this show is called the Mother Show. It was brought to you by Elika Itchy Rashes. It might be eczema. Ask your doctor. Ask about Elika. Have a great weekend, guys. Yes. Bye. See you Friday. Bye. Bye. We've got that mommy magic. The Mother Show on Magic eighty nine point nine.